Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a game environment in Blender. This is the level I've created for uh, Super Mario 64 and I will show you how I've created this level. So, I'll create a new level. Put this away. I delete the cube because I don't need it. And now I'll create a new plane by pressing uh, space and adding a plane. I will scale it up. And in the next step, I go into edit mode. You can see here at the moment it's object mode, and when I hit tab, it becomes edit mode. Of course, you can change it uh, by pressing here and selecting editing mode. This is our plane. And now I press W and subdivide the plane. Now you can see that uh, there are a whole lot of new faces like you've learned in the last tutorial and the pre preparation for this tutorial. So, okay. Um, now I can select uh, vertices by right clicking on them and when I hold shift I'm able to select uh, more vertices you know when you select two vertices you've selected an edge and four of uh, when I select four vertices I've selected the whole face. Now you can also uh, select edge selection mode and when you click right on an edge you will select it. It's the same with uh, face selection mode this makes uh, selecting uh, faces and edges uh, way easier because you only have to click once on a face instead of uh, clicking four vertices. So uh, let's see, we will create uh, one of the uh, skyscrapers by hitting E and extruding the region. Put it up here. You can see that now we have uh, extruded uh, a building, so to say. And in order not to make it look uh, too boxy or blocky, I will now select edges oh. I've selected this edge and now I will move it in order to make everything look a little more rounder give it a rounder shape So now we have a more rounder shape uh, than before. And now I select another face in front of the building and I extrude it with E. Put it up here. And now we have a 
a place. Uh, I have to go to edge selection mode, and now we have um, this little platform, which will be easier ex uh, to access by Mario by jumping on it, for example. And uh, you're later able to um, place objects here, like another box, and uh, so on. So you shouldn't forget that you're also able to place objects into your level later on. So you can plan how you will create uh, your map for the later use. So now we have the first building, and you see that uh, um, that um, the ground looks a little uh, flat. So now I go select all these ground edges around the building in order to to move it up afterwards. Now the ground has, isn't as flat as before anymore. So now we have uh, little faces left which we could build the uh, uh, second building from. So now we are just check that. There are um, little few faces left for building the second building. So let's just expand our faces. We we'll do it the same way as we uh, expanded uh, the building by extrusion. So I've just selected all these edges, and when I hit B, e, I'm extruding a new face. See that it moves freely, freely in the room. So I will hit. X to make it move on the X axis. Now I click left to make it stay where it is and I repeat the step. Hit E and X and left mouse button. So now we have a lot of space, a lot of uh, 